Hello everyone, what's happening? What's Gucci? Hope you're having an awesome day wherever and whenever you're watching this. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and welcome back to another video here at Most Amazing Top 10. So, the makeup of our bodies are pretty much the same. You know, that's just textbook biology. We're all around 60% water, 8% blood, etc., etc. That's just the human body, and that's all for today's bio lesson, kids. Till next time. No, but for real, our bodies are the things that carry us through this life, yet they're so fragile, vulnerable to internal dangers and external dangers, we really are just walking eggs, ready just to crack at any time. But anyway, I took that too far, let's just forget I even said that, and get into the video which has nothing to do with eggs. This is the top 10 scary things secretly living in your body. Starting us off with number 10 is the eel. Now back in 2013, a man in China admitted himself to a hospital after a terrible accident. I mean, no, it wasn't exactly an accident, but the situation had just gone out of his control. Control, let's just say. So apparently, after watching an explicit adult movie, he decided to copy it and insert a 20 inch Asian swamp eel into his anus. He had to have surgery all night in order to remove it, and by the time they did, the eel had already chewed through his colon, perforating his large intestine and getting stuck inside his body cavity. And apparently, this has happened before. Like, people actually do this. In 2012, in New Zealand, a man had to get an eel removed from his butthole as well, and in 2010, a Chinese man even died because his friends put an eel into his anus as a joke. Am I the only one that doesn't find that funny? Like that joke was taken too far, how does that, like I wonder as the man how I would even let somebody do that, like no. <laughs> but anyway. To each their own. Coming in at number nine is the pregnant man. Now, Sanju Bhagat was an Indian farmer who was teased his whole life for having a big belly. And I don't mean post meal food baby belly, I mean the man looked like he was legitimately nine months pregnant. However, by June of 1999, his stomach got too much for him to the point it was pushing on his diaphragm and making it hard for him to breathe. He was rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery, and doctors just assumed it was a tumor that was growing. But on the operating table, they found something else entirely. First, the surgeon felt some bones, and then he saw one limb come out, then another, then some genitalia, and then hair, and etc. It's like he really had given birth. But doctors discovered that Sanju had fetus in fetu, aka he was carrying the mutated body of his twin brother for a whopping 36 years. He had fully grown hair, limbs, fingernails, the whole lot. The trapped fetus basically survives as a parasite, even forming a sort of umbilical cord to the leaf off the body. After he was removed, Bugget's weight went from 200 to 88 pounds. <sighs> Talk about shedding dead weight. At number eight, we have the bot fly. Other than when I'm filming videos, I wear glasses pretty much all the time, and I hate it when people think rain or sand won't get into my eyes because my glasses are like a barrier, and I'm like, no, they can get in from the sides, people. I assure you, I'm as exposed as you. But anyway, a five year old boy in Honduras had the worst possible luck. He felt some sort of weird eye irritation one day and thought it was just dust stuck in his eye. He rubbed it, hoping it would come out, and went about his day. But his eye I got super super red and eye drops didn't even help whatsoever and after a few days it was swollen as hell. When he went to the doctor he wanted to operate straight away because he thought it was a cyst or something but it turned out to be an insect's egg. And the pictures are truly something, please don't look at them while you're eating, I made that mistake and I do really regret that. Bot flies lay their eggs on other creatures and when they hatch the larva burrow into their host to feed and that's exactly what happened inside this little boy's eye. But thankfully it was easily removed and the problem ended there. Filling on number 7 slot is the scratching sound. For many days, a Chinese woman named Li Meng had been hearing a scratching noise of some kind. No one else seemed to be hearing it but her and she was too scared to go to the doctors about it because she thought it may be evil spirits. She lived with the noise coping for as long as she possibly could until it became too much and she finally went to the hospital. After the examination, doctors found a live spider weaving a web in Li's ear canal and it was found just resting on her ear. Drum. Anytime they tried to pull it out, the spider got upset, so they actually had to knock it out with meds and then remove it. The thought of having a spider in my ear for even a second, let alone days, is just revolting. Like I, I, I can't even imagine. I hate, I hate spiders. I hate them. Like that's not. Nope. Nope. 
Now at number six is Skull for Two, and I really give myself kudos for that title. I thought it was quite witty. So in 2017, Selvi, a 42-year-old domestic worker in India, woke up with a weird discomfort in her head. She said she felt a strange tingling or crawling sensation, and it was hell bent on it being an insect. She even said whenever it moved, she felt a burning sensation in her eyes. So Selvi decided to go to the hospital when she woke up, and they found a fully grown cockroach lodged in her skull base right between her eyes. The doctor assured her that they managed to get it out, but it wasn't easy. It was alive and wanted to stay in his skull, and it took a combination of forceps and suction to get it out. They theorized it must have entered her nose and bore a path under her skin up to her skull. They went on to say they've had experience removing insects before, but a full grown cockroach this big was a first for them. And I feel like, isn't there a stat you like swallow a bunch of spiders when you're asleep because they just go into your mouth? But like, they apparently bore into your skull. <laughs> And now it's a cockroach and I'm just not having this now. I'm just going to sleep with my mouth closed at all times. Coming in at number 5 is Turbo. So back in the summer of 2013, 4 year old Paul Franklin was on the beach with his family when he tripped while running and skinned his right knee. I mean kids fall all the time, we've all been there, it's not really a big deal. And his parents evidently thought the same because they cleaned it and just put a band aid on it and called it a day. But a few weeks later it got super infected and so the doctors gave him antibiotics thinking it was a staph infection. Wrong! The medicine helped with the oozing but not the growing black bump. Paul's mum had had enough so she decided to do a home remedy and squeeze the growth. And squeeze it she did. And out came a sea snail who Paul named Turbo and then Paul decided to keep Turbo as a pet and they lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> at number four is the fur tree. At least it's not an insect this time, so you can at least save your gag reflex. Back in 2009, one day, 28 year old Artyom Sidorkin complained he had really bad chest pain and then started coughing up blood. He went to the hospital, and doctors were 100% sure it was a tumor. They even did x rays and were convinced that's all it was, and so they decided to proceed with surgery to remove it. But before removing part of the lung, the surgeon investigated the tissue and honestly couldn't believe his eyes. Quote on quote he said he thought he was hallucinating. He asked his assistant to look and he also confirmed what the surgeon thought. Sidorkin had a 2 inch fir tree in his lung. They realized he must have inhaled a seed at some point which sprouted into the fir tree. He was in so much pain because the spruce was touching his capillaries. Artyom was so relieved he initially thought it was cancer or something and so was weirdly overjoyed when he was told no no it's just a fir tree. Which also is totally not normal either, but it's better than cancer, isn't it? Filling our number three slot is the fish. From the previous kid who had a sea snail stuck in his knee, we can conclude that kids don't always end up in great situations. So back in 2012, 12 year old Anil Beryl was playing in a river in central India when he accidentally inhaled a 9 centimeter fish. 9 centimeters, guys, that is not small when it comes to something you're swallowing. Anil's oxygen levels plummeted, understandably, and he began struggling for breath. When he finally got to the hospital, the fish was fully alive and flat when doctors performed a bronoscopy to get it out. It was restricting the functioning of both lungs, resulting in all of Anil's symptoms. Either way, I don't even know how he inhaled this by accident. Like four centimeters down, he could have been like, wait, wait, and then pulled it out, or at least closed his mouth, I don't know. Now at number two is the pregnant mouth. Yeah, can you imagine? Because I sure as hell couldn't. Back in 2012, a woman was eating a partially cooked piece of squid that still had its internal organs fully intact. As she bit into to it, she felt a foreign body sensation and a pricking in her mouth. Even though she spat it out straight away, the damage had already been done. Pods of squid semen had already been shot into her mouth, thus impregnating the mucous membranes of her cheek, her gums, and tongue. After experiencing severe pain, doctors removed 12 small white spindle shaped bug like creatures stuck in her gums, cheek, and tongue. But contrary to popular belief, they were not baby squids, they were spermatophores, which are more like pods of squid semen. In, they're not fully formed organisms, which is great because I think anyone would rather that than actual baby squids in their mouth and gums and tongue. And finally, at number one is the urethra. So I didn't know this, but apparently there's a fish in the Amazon called the Kanduru that will swim into your urethra if you ever have it exposed. Now, just hold on to that thought for a minute. A 14 year old boy in India went to the hospital one day after persistent pain in his bladder and due to the fact he just couldn't urinate. The doctors decided to do an ultrasound and found something in his bladder blocking his urethra. What a fun word to say, urethra. 
Anyway, whose rush to surgery and a two centimeter long fish was extracted from his urethra. How freaking sus. When they asked the boy how this fish magically got inside his urethra, the boy said he was cleaning the fish tank in his house and it was holding one of the fish and then went to the bathroom to pee. And as he was peeing, the fish slipped from his hand and entered his urethra. Uh, Okay, I think that's the biggest load of bull I've ever heard. The boy was released post surgery but then was taken to psychiatric counseling, which, you know, I'm on board with. And that's all for today's video, guys. Am I the only one that viscerally cringes when you think about any of these things being inside you? Like a spider in my ear, excuse me? Excuse me while I vomit my heart out in response to that. Hard no. Fish in my urethra? Hard no, you guys. But as always, let me know what you thought of all these crazy stories in the comments below. I'm your host, Eamon Hassan, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.